This video shows the Java IC Security Manager in action. On startup, the Java IC Security Manager reads a configuration file, either standard or custom, called the policy file. The policy file grants some permission to the ES2C framework and to the services running on top of it. In our demo, the ES2C framework jar file is signed with the ESSC signature, some special permission are granted to the framework like read, write and delete on the file system. In the policy file, non-signed services are granted global permission. As an example, they can only read the file system. Execution of some Java methods or access to some sockets can be granted or denied in the policy file. Our demo shows the following use cases. The first service in is a file service. It creates a directory and writes a file in it. The second service is the web client services. It connects to the internet to get a web page. The third service is a reboot service. It tries to kill and restart the Java VM by calling a shell script, which starts the VM and the framework. The script is escc.sh in our demo. We will now show the Java IC security demo. Uh, we can see a little window with a create file button in it, uh, showing this service uh, running on ES2C. We open the file system. When we click create file, we'll see that a directory and a file are created on the file system by the service. Now we are back to the policy file. We will remove by commenting uh, the grants for the system to access the file system and uh, we'll have to reboot the VM in order for these uh, changes uh, to be taken into account. Once it's done and we click create file, we can see that nothing is happening on the file system and we have uh, an exception uh, showing that uh, the permission we tried to access uh, was not uh, granted by the security manager. We now show the second use case which is a web client service. The service is shown in a little window with a button to connect to the internet. We'll first get Google web page and do another try with Oracle web page. Works fine. We then go to the policy file and remove the permission for socket access as shown on the screen and try again to activate our service so nothing happens and as previously we have an exception showing that uh, permission is not granted to access Google uh, web page and doing the same on another URL we are denied access to the Oracle uh, website This is the third use case with the reboot service. So this service will kill the VM and the associated application, so all windows will close. Then the system will reboot and will see again the application. And if we modify the policy file by denying the ability to execute the shell script and to exit the VM, when we try to reboot and hack the system, we are preventing from doing this. And as shown previously, we have an exception showing that what uh, we wanted to do was denied by the Java security uh, policy manager. 